Hey guys, Alex here with this month's Loot Crate video. I am um, just gone goofed, done goofed, and completely recorded this video, and then realised, damn, that was just a photo. So, <laughs> I've already done all this once, so I know what's in it, I've proper gone messed up. But yeah, this month's uh, theme was launch and like they've got a little launch pad on the back they even launched a loot crate in up into space this month because of it like just kicking off a new year i guess so there's a little booklet that you get in it and um, it looks pretty cool the art and it's awesome and then on the inside it's just got the usual a couple of exclusive things and like interviews with people and um, <clears throat> some stuff on Bat batman superman and obviously the this month's loot crate was this month's mega loot crate had all that in it which is some pretty good stuff some lego creator stuff i believe it is um a star trek thing right at the top a capture card a couple of minecraft bits and mobs and star wars bits and mobs as well so yeah that's pretty cool whoever we'll got that congratulations and let's kick it off with the pop figure been getting these a lot recently in these little loot crate and nerd things. Um, this one is of General Zod, and I believe he's. I haven't seen the film Man of Steel yet, Superman Man of Steel, so I, I think he's the bad guy. I would assume he's the bad guy, but obviously I'm not quite sure. Um, so yeah, there was two of these that you could get, uh, Superman or General Zod, and then I believe there was all there was also a Dommer one that you could get, like a super rare one maybe, or I don't know. Um, I got my membership card, I hadn't got that yet, so yeah, it's pretty, I don't really know how you get one of these, it's just, I guess it's just like a little thing. Um, <clears throat> a melting Rubik's Cube vinyl sticker, which is pretty cool, I enjoy that, it feels like good quality as well, even though it's a sticker, it just gets stuck on my wall or something. Um, a Star Wars pocket model trend card game thing. Uh, this is, you get to, like eight trading cards, I believe is it eight, no six trading cards, and then you build something, you get like a little thing that you can build as well, like you can build an AT, AT or a TIE Fighter, I think that's a TIE Fighter, I think it's a TIE Fighter. Um, also in this, the, you got a little badge, I'll do the little things first, uh, you got a little little badge, like saying, oh yeah, first loot crate in space, come on focus. Uh, first in space January 2014 launch and then a little NASA either iron on or just like stitch on badge which is pretty cool so said in my last video as well the one that I didn't record <laughs> be pretty cool if I wanted to um, cosplayers like Namba, Muto or Hibito or Kenji or something like that because obviously you just get one of them blue blue boiler suits and just stick all the different jacks and NASA things on it I'm already part way there. Um, there. You also got a little um, Star Wars Galactic Phrase Book and Travel Guide. And it, this has like, uh, this is in chapters. Um, like the second chapter is space travel, and then one of them is, uh, what is it? communicating with the Wookiees, dealing with uh, Ewoks, underwater with the Gungans, and things like that. Which seems like a pretty cool little read. And then in the back they also have a load of things about what happened when they was making the film I believe. Yeah, looks like it. So yeah, that'll be pretty, that's a pretty cool read. Um, I'll probably, I'll say I'll, I'll say I'll read it, but that's a lie. Probably won't. But I'll probably, I'll have a flick through it. But yeah, it's even got, what language is that? Bossy or Bocky? I don't know. You're making people angry. And then you also get a little sticker of the Star Trek communicator badge. Now I was I just said insignia and badge when I was uh, did the previous one because honestly I just thought it was a badge, I didn't realise it was a communicator as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then finally, which is also pretty cool as well. Everything everything's pretty cool. <laughs> I've already opened it to have a look at the pictures. Like, like I said, I've already freaking recorded this video once. 
a Minecraft 2014 mini calendar which has 16 months in it and it's a pretty cool calendar. This has all like artwork from people who are there, like people who usually make like Minecraft artwork and stuff and this is all like fan art which, I, well I believe it's all fan art, I could be completely wrong, uh, like stuff that people make and most of the images are actually really nice. Like, <laughs> sure we all can relate to that one. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a pretty good calendar. I'm not quite sure where I'd put it because I've already got a calendar. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice calendar. So yeah, I then went on to talk about stuff that I bought recently and stuff. Um, I got this little carried on with Minecraft. I bought this little Enderman uh, plush today, it's pretty adorable, um, and I was like, it's it looks cool and adorable, so I'm buying that, I bought that. Um, I also bought some DVDs and stuff um, from Animal Land, they had a offer where if you bought like 10 random DVDs, uh, it was only like fiver, like obviously you pay a fiver and they give you 10 random DVDs in just uh, PVC wallets from what they have spare and stuff, so I bought some of them and I also was like, oh, if you've got any spare posters and stuff, from posters, leaflets, uh, postcards, you know like what they give away at Expos and Comic Con and things like that, I was like, oh would I be able to have a few? I mean, it's cool if not, because I totally understand why you might not have any or you just might not want to give, give them to me. But yeah, they actually sent me some, which I was really happy about. And like, I got a little um, book of all of their releases and stuff that they distribute, which is cool. It's like all, and then like Fooly Cooly, another which is coming out soon, and stuff like that. Um, a Hack Worky um, poster, which you probably see in like game stores and stuff like that. Um, which. I don't know what this game's about, I'm sure I mention I've mentioned it in my webcast, but I honestly have no idea what this, this game is about. I thought it was a a uh, I was gonna say I thought it was a love sim, I think it is a dating sim, sorry, not a love sim. Like a maybe an action love sim, I don't know. I don't know if it's got other elements of gameplay in it. Um you got a Oran High School Host Club little poster thing with just say oh yeah, it comes out in 2010 on the back. Which is cool because this I actually enjoyed this anime. It's on Blu-ray as well, didn't know that. Um but yeah this, the anime was quite good, I enjoyed it. Um I got one for Tsubasa Chronicles, which I also need to watch because apparently it's like apparently it's some, I'm i I'm sure I've read somewhere that's like a continuation of Card Captor Scura. Or it kinda leads on from that in like a parallel universe or something. I think the main characters like got the same names. I'm sure someone said. I'm sure I read somewhere that it's like the kids or something like that. Uh, I might be completely wrong, but yeah, I, I enjoyed Cat Cup Girl when I was a kid, so I used to watch it on CITV dub version. So I missed a few episodes when they cut the stuff out, but yeah. Uh, they also sent me a In of the East one, which is really cool. I've watched a series of this, but I still need to watch the films because they're a continuation of the, the series, and the series is really good. Um, a killer kill one, which I was, I really like. It's obviously, this is probably one of my favourite animes of little bit last season now, I guess. But yeah, the anime, the anime is really good, and yeah, that style is really cool. I mean, it just reminds me a lot of, like Gurren Lagann because it's made by Studio Trigger, but it's still a really good anime. And one that I really like because I was like, oh, that, that's cool, and then I realised because I saw one of the pictures, I was like, oh, it's only on a small art card, but no, a pretty big. Um, Kids on the Slope poster, which is like card as well, so it's like decent. It's, I'm like, ah, oh, this is really cool. So yeah, this Kids on the Slope's a really good anime about. Uh, it's like a, it's like love, it's like a love story, and it's like got jazz in it. It's a lot of jazz music, and um, it's directed by Shinichiro Watanabe, who also did like Cowboy Bebop. He's currently doing Space Dandy and Samurai. Well, what did Samurai Champloo? So yeah, the anime is really good and if you haven't seen it you should watch it, I'm sure I've mentioned it numerous times on my webcast. And also like a big anime catalogue with the same picture on the front. Don't know what anime that's from. Is it Bakuten? Is that what it says? Project Bakuten? I don't know. I haven't watched it so I'm not 100% solid but... Yeah, it's got like all of the stuff that they 
Police. Tower of Jericho was really good as well. I just seen that on the back. That was good anime. I watched on control. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I don't think I've missed anything. So thank you for watching. Jesus Christ, ten minutes long. <laughs> Considering the one probably didn't take me that long. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.